We are back with our global expedition truck project. And today we're gonna to be working in the box. So this is going to be our habitat. This is where we're gonna utilize this truck as a camper. So as you can see, we've got a lot of work to do here. We've got pretty much a blank slate. So the first objective for today is to take this giant load of lumber that was just delivered and convert it to all of our built-ins. So we've got a lot to cover. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So we've already taken care of the demo. There was a lot of things in this vehicle that we're not going to use. So a lot of old military equipment, comms, a blackout system, uh, old electronics, old lighting fixtures, a full AC panel that we're not gonna use. All this had to come out in order for us to get started on the actual build out of the camper. Another thing we had to do was remove the old flooring. So if you ever rode a skateboard before, that type of grip tape, well, that's been on the ground here for about 25 years. So there's really no shortcuts. We had to remove all this by hand, no cheat codes. It took a while, but ultimately we got it out and the carpet was ready to go down. Carpet installation basically involved us doing a lot of prep work as we went. We had to make sure that all the old contaminants and grease that were on the old floor were removed, uh, applying heat to make sure the adhesive works when we laid down the new carpet tiles, and in some spots having to go through and do a little bit of work to make sure that everything laid down flat. At that point, we're able to actually begin constructing the actual build out of the camper. We looked at a lot of different really innovative and exciting overlanding projects out there online that gave us lots of ideas and potential layouts for our habitat. But ultimately for our particular setup, we're gonna be doing mostly entertaining customers and using the space as a base of operations while we're at events. So we really need to utilize a lot of seating space, but we still wanted to make it functional as a sleeper. So we looked at lots of different options as far as how to set up a sleeping setup with the lounge chairs that we had in there. And ultimately we ended up uh, landing on this design that was basically a fold out set of benches that converted into beds. So with that in mind, we went ahead and started the construction of this setup in the overlanding vehicle. All right, just a quick second to talk about workplace safety. We're using power tools here. It's important to use ear protection, eye protection, and take your time. Even if you think you're perfectly capable of walking down a set of stairs without a problem, accidents do happen. 